Stan Jibalisco here. I have a set of three formulas shown here that you can use to relate the height that you want to attach a guy wire or apex of an inverted V to a vertical pole or tower at. That's B, the height. A, the distance from the base of the tower or vertical pole on horizontal ground uh, where you want to place the anchor uh, to anchor the inverted V or the guy wire to the ground or the length of the inverted V or guy wire section for a given distance of the anchor from the base of the tower or pole and the height of the pole. It simply relates these three variables where A is the distance of the anchor from the base of the tower or pole, B is the height at which you want to attach the apex of the inverted V or the guy wire to the tower or pole, and C is the actual length, the total length of the guy wire or inverted V plus any insulator and wire beyond its section that goes from the top or the attachment point of the inverted V to the anchor in the ground. Uh, just three f uh, formulas that relate these three variables, horizontal distance, vertical height, and slant height, provided that the tower or pole is vertical and the ground underneath it is horizontal. Uh, you may recognize uh, these formulas as variants of the theorem of P Pythagoras that you learned in high school or even junior high school geometry courses. A theorem that relates the lengths of the sides of a right triangle. The, the value C, the slant height, is often called the hypotenuse of the triangle and then you have the vertical side and the horizontal side. So you can calculate any one of these three variables if you know the other two and thereby uh, optimize the design of an inverted V. Of course there are two legs C on an inverted V and you would assume that the other side slants down at the same angle as this side does. And the same would hold for guy wires, except there'd have to be more than two of them. You'd have to have at least three of them. But this, uh, you can use these three formulas to relate the lengths of the sides and, or calculate one of the lengths if you know the other two. Uh, so you don't have to waste a lot of wire. Um, and uh, you can design your antenna for the optimal uh, slant height or slant length and horizontal distance and height. Just uh, a general purpose formula for those who like guide towers or inverted V antennas. I'm not going to go any more specific than that because I'm sure that your needs will vary greatly but you can always refer to these formulas and what the variables stand for to calculate the various lengths that you'll need. And you can use it for other purposes too, of course, like <laughs> passing your final exam in your high school geometry course. But, but that's uh, whether you're a radio ham or not. Stan Jibalisco. W1GV Whiskey 1 Good Vibrations saying 73 which means best regards in ham radio jargon and so long which in my native language of CW would translate to da 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 da